Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the HT Physio Quick Tip Series. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use one of these, a walking stick or a cane on the stairs. Now, many of uh, my audience, they use a walking stick and they're happy with it on flat, but they're not quite sure how to use it properly on stairs. So that's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you how to do so safely. And if you're wondering what this red band around my leg is, I'm gonna use it to indicate which leg is the weaker leg or which leg is injured. Most people use a stick because they have at least one leg which isn't quite as good as the other one. So that's what this is going to indicate and it will help me to explain. Now before we show you how to use it on stairs, we need to make sure this thing is the correct height. I covered this in a previous video, but just to show you in short, what we want is for when you're standing up straight, for the handle of the walking stick to line up with the first wrist crease on your wrist if you let your arm hang down. So this stick has been measured up correctly for me. It probably looks a bit low to many people, but this is actually the correct height to use a stick most safely. So I'm gonna show you a few different types of stairs. Obviously some stairs have got a handrail, others don't. I'm gonna show you how to use a stick depending on whether a set of stairs does or doesn't. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out which side the handrail on the stairs is. So obviously on this um, staircase, this, the handrail is on the left side and my injured leg is on the right side. So there's a couple of different rules here when we're using stairs is if there's a handrail, we're always going to use it and your stick is going to go in the opposite side. Now the second rule is that your injured leg and the walking stick are always going to move together, okay? So our rule is we always use the handrail and our walking stick and the injured leg always move together. So I'm gonna show you how this would look if we're going to climb up the stairs here. So we've got a handrail on the left, so my left hand is gonna use the handrail, and my opposite hand is going to hold the stick. Now in university, I was taught a saying to help me remember which uh, foot to put up first, and that is that the good go to heaven and the bad go to hell, as in the good leg goes up first and the bad leg comes down first. So if you're not sure, think of that saying, the good go to heaven, the bad go to hell. So we're gonna put our left hand on the rail like this, this here is our good leg. So all we're gonna do first is we're gonna keep our stick on the floor and just put the good leg up first. So remember the bad leg and the stick always stay together. So this would be how we start. And then the second thing we're gonna to do to get to the next step is we're gonna push through the stick and as we do so, lift the leg up, put the stick down and then the bad leg goes up as well. Okay, so I'll show you again. So we put our hand in the right place on the handrail we're going to keep a bit of weight through the stick. We're gonna put the good leg up, and then we're gonna move with the stick and the bad leg at the same time to ascend the stairs. So now I've swapped over the bad side, so now it's my left leg, which is the bad leg. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that again. We've got the handrail on the left side, so again we hold the handrail. The stick stays in the same hand, so it's slightly different to how you'd walk on flat. And this time we're gonna keep the stick and the bad leg down there and put the good leg up first. And then as we push up, the stick and the bad leg go up as well. And I'd recommend if you're using a stick, you do one step at a time, just like I am now. So again, slide your hands up, the good leg goes up first, you leave the bad leg behind, and then you go bad leg and stick at the same time like that. Now let's pretend for a moment that the handrail isn't there, the handrail is on the right side. So what we would do, same injured leg, we would swap the stick over, we would hold the handrail on the right hand side like this, and nothing changes, okay? We're still going to move the good leg up first and the stick and the bad leg always stay together. So handrail on the right side, you're gonna put your, your good leg up first, you pull with the handrail and push with the stick and the bad leg at the same time. So I'll show you again. So handrail, good leg, stick and bad leg, go at the same time. And I like to time it so that my foot, my bad foot and the stick come down with the stick just landing ahead 
of the bad foot. So that's how to climb the stairs, but how do we start to come back down again? So I'll show you from this step here, just so you can see exactly what happens with my feet. So we're gonna pretend the handrail continues here. So I've got my hand here on the handrail. I'm just about to come down the stairs. So as I said before, good go to heaven, but the bad go to hell. So the bad leg is the first one down, okay? So holding the handrail here, what we're going to do is we're gonna first put the stick down and then the bad leg is going to come down. And the reason we do it this way is because this here, the strong leg, is actually the leg that's taking our weight. Even though it looks like we're leading with this leg and this leg's doing the work, it is in fact this one that's working harder. So I'll show you again. To descend the stairs, you're obviously gonna use the rail. You put your stick down and then the bad leg comes down to meet it and then the good leg comes down like that. So I'll show you a few steps up just so you can see a few in a row. So we're gonna start here, hand on the handrail, stick comes down, bad leg, good leg. Handrail, stick, bad leg, good leg. Handrail, stick, bad leg, good leg. And that's how we descend stairs uh, safely. So now I'm gonna show you with the injured leg in the opposite side and how we would come down. So remember, nothing changes with regards to our hands. So we slide our hand down the handrail, then the stick, then the bad leg, then the good leg. Handrail, stick, bad leg, good leg. Handrail, stick, bad leg, good leg. Just like that. And now we're gonna pretend the banister's on the opposite side. So I don't have a right hand banister anymore. I've got a left hand banister. So I'd have my hand here. My stick would swap hands, okay? The bad leg is still my right. So I would go handrail, stick, bad leg, good leg. Handrail, stick, bad leg, good leg. Just like that. So that's how to safely use one of these on the stairs. I hope that's been a useful video for you. If it has, please hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below if you found it helpful. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. If you've read the book and you enjoyed it, please consider leaving me a review on Amazon if you liked it because we love to read uh, five-star reviews on that platform as well. So thank you so much for uh, watching the video and I'll speak to you on the next episode.